Okay, hello and welcome to this next um, video in this Git series. Okay, so in the last video we, we went through um, using Git Checkout um, and how to overcome some problems. As you can see that it, it's quite technical and quite, it, it can give you a bit of a, a, a bit of a headache sometimes. So now, um, Let's just to go through this. We're at a staging point now where the customer um, is is reviewing the work that we've done and we're awaiting feedback. Um, but the feedback which we have been given um, by the design team is that they have um, completed all of the theming and how all of the colors um, should be. So the, the, um, the, the responsive developer needs to then start implementing all of the, the CSS and the styling for, for the website. So we now need to um, put on our responsive um, hat and obviously we're at the staging point so we can then jump straight from the staging to then a um, responsive branch because we want only that the um, the, the, the responsive developer makes changes um, when the actual the website is finished right because the developers are working on a website and we want that the responsive developer is then going to manipulate it to work correctly for for mobile uh, and so on right so we say to the to the um, responsive developer hey you then go from from staging all right and we then say get checkout dash b responsive and that's going to switch to a responsive branch all right so the responsive de developer naturally makes his folder of css and makes his um his layout dot css um, file inside of the css directory and then we come to the, the CSS directory and then we create body um, and then margin equals zero padding equals zero. And we're finished with responsive, right? You know, it was, was really, really quick. The developer's done. So the, the responsive developer, you know, he looks at it and says, get status. On branch responsive untracked files yep I've got files with inside of the CSS folder that haven't been tracked so I've got to then say get add CSS and this is going to add a complete folder now and then get commit because I've got to tell other developers what I've added and adds a message saying added um, the responsive layout CSS which should be used throughout the whole the whole um, application right and added to all features okay whoops 21 doesn't doesn't work here David so it's now saved and we can come here and we can see that he's added the the commit and that's on the responsive layer Okay, so now that the responsive person has done that, we're now back as the um, contact feature person. So let's go then get checkout um, master. All right, go back to the how it was, and then we come into the project and say then get checkout contact feature. All right. And we'll look at our work, have a quick review. Yep, we've got our about, contact and index. I'm just going to ignore then the, the about page because I'm only working on, on the contact page. And we know um, because we've received an email to say, hey, the responsive layout um, is available to be inserted into your contact.html. Please add it now. Um, please add it now so as your, your page is then responsive. Okay, that's the only task that we've got to do is add this responsive um, layout.css to our page. All right, but I don't want to merge 
the the whole responsive branch because there's essentially only one file on that one branch that I need and that is the layout.css file on that one branch right now it can be that that other developer has got a git ignore well the git ignore won't make any difference but has got other files in there that, that I just don't need to worry myself about and I don't want with inside of my my branch my feature branch okay so there's a really clever way of doing this what I say is then git checkout and I'm going to say responsive which branch I want all right and I say dash dash and that then says hey go onto the responsive branch right and retrieve a specific file or folder for me all right and now in this scenario, I'm going to say CSS forward slash layout.css. And here it's going to, so what's going to happen is it's going to go and get this file and it's going to then just move that file onto my contact feature. Press enter. We look and look here now. And now we can see, boom, I've just got the layout.css. All right. Really clever, cool stuff. And I come to my contact um, page and then I can, whoops, say here, link href um, CSS, layout CSS, and well, equal style sheet, I don't really care. Now we're done, so I can then say here, get. Okay, we'll go through this slowly. Status on contact feature. Make sure we're on the con correct contact feature. Changes to be committed. Um, so we need we've got a new file um, that needs to be um, staged or to be committed because that's already staged. And then changes not staged. So we've got our modification that needs to be staged. So let's say get add contact.html. Well, add a message to be committed okay um, added the layout CSS style sheets and added the link tag to the head tag save this the we then send an email to the to the responsive um, developer to say hey I've uh, I've now added I've added this to the contact.html all right and please can you um, have a look at it okay so the responsive developer says well I don't look at your HTML you know I'll, I'll just test to make sure that my CSS was working all right I don't want to play around with your HTML I just do my CSS so we then go back over to responsive Right now we're back on responsive. And we see that the the contact um, that the contact pay HTML doesn't have then the link tag anymore. So the responsive developer once again doesn't want to merge; just wants to pull a cherry pick, shall we say, a specific file. And from here, they then he then she says contact feature branch dash dash to say hey grab a specific file for me and add it to this add it to this branch and this situation we just want contact.html all right and we come over here and have a look at our file and boom uh, the, the changes have been made so once again what have we learned get status we see that we've got a file that's been modified and get checkout has already committed it for um, has already staged it for us so the only thing we need to do is add a commit okay um, checked we'll say checked out contact .html from contact feature branch commit this get checkout um, staging and once again, we come back to here and we see that the, the CSS has now gone. Um, the lead developer 
then says, right, well, we need to we need to check this out to see how this is for for the customer. So the developer says, well, let's go back onto develop, and then the developer says, well, okay, I need to go onto responsive, have a look at the responsive. So to make sure that it's all working. So the, the lead developer then on his computer, he then goes get checkout responsive, and now he's got the CSS and he's got all of the changes here. And then he looks at, she looks at all of the work, checked out contact HTML from the branch, added responsive layout, which should be used throughout, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So then the, the developer's now happy, the lead developer's now happy that all of the correct information is there, has tested it. So the lead developer is on the responsive branch, says, right, well, we want to make sure that the, the develop branch can be merged into the responsive without any problems or conflicts. So the lead developer, whoops, the lead developer then um, then says, okay, get merge, develop, already up to date. So it means that everything is perfectly fine and it will merge. Lead developer then goes back onto the develop branch, get merge responsive. It does a fast forward, it adds the contact.html, it adds the um, layout.css, two files changed, five insertions, and created a specific file of layout.css. We come here, we see that all of the files there, and get status should say already up to date. Yeah, nothing to commit, working tree clean. Right, we're now happy. So um, the developer is now happy that everything is working, so he then then um, goes on to staging, ready for the customer to see the new changes. And he, he then says, she then says, um, get merge, develop, all right? The, whoops, what happened there? What's going on with me? One minute. You seem to. There we go. Okay. So it's all it's all there again. It's just being really stupid. Um, it's it's all there again. Okay. Um, so the, then the customer now looks at looks at the work and says, "This is fantastic. I love it. This is ready to to go live now." All right for this one specific specific stage. So the customer has given the thumbs up. So we go get checkout master, all right? It goes back to how it was in the beginning, which is just an index.html page. And then we can say here, get merge staging, all right? And now our application is now here. And if we look at get log, Let's um, clear and have a look at this git log one line to see what's happened. And we now see that the head is at master, staging, responsive, and develop, all, all of the same. Um, and that was for the contact.html, all right? The about feature is not um, finished yet, um, so that's, that still needs um, work to be done. But the customer is happy with with how it is. Okay, let's have a look at then the the graph to see how that's looking. And as you can see here, now that uh, develop responsive stage in master is all um, up here. Um, yeah, so um, everyone's everyone's happy. Um, so that's. That's how to use um, Git Checkout as well um, in a nice way. Uh, so in the next, in the next video, um, we can discuss about how, how to, to actually create version control for this with the likes of tags. Okay, and that's the next step now. Now that we've got a master branch, we now need to create tags for that, all right? Um, if you have any questions, once again, please feel free to, to comment. Um, and if there's anything you didn't understand, 
then um, then please uh, let me know. All right, I'll try and try to keep this as real life uh, as possible. You know, it's all well and good just just going through a few commands, but if you go and work in a in a you know a, a large team, you you've got to be able to get to grips with how to use um, Git um, to a high standard. Um, and it's not going to be easy. So, if I, if I show you basic examples, you'll not learn. You need to see difficult examples to be able to to master this. All right. Anyway, that's it. Um, see you in the next the next video.